We tried contacting you in relation to our product and services. You can reach out to us on the call numbers. Thank you. That was such a nice robo voice. I guess maybe we should try to call it back and see what happens. Hello. Welcome to Financial Welfare Group. All calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. We are happy to assist you. Please choose from one of the following options. Press 1 if you're looking for free assistance. Press 2 for opt out. I'd like to speak to a person. Let's press 1. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hi, this is Health and Benefits Department. My name is Elena. How may I assist you today? Uh, yes, ma'am. I received a call from this number and asked me to call back, but I wasn't sure exactly what it was for. Can you tell me what this is about? Sir, this is about free insurance and subsidy benefits from the government, where all of your medical expenses would be covered, including your vision, dental, co surgery, staff, visitations, medication. All of your having better work, everything will be covered. Did you say vision? Yes, sir. Vision. Okay. I've always heard of it as vision, but I, I guess people say it differently in different places. So exactly how did you get my number in the first place? Sir, we don't get your number. This is a federal government program. This is a system-generated call. Unfortunately, okay. we don't get to choose the number who we want to speak to. Right, so this is a system-generated call from the government, is what you're saying? Yes, sir. So you work for the government. What part of the government do you work for? where we offer people with free insurance and subsidy benefits. If right. you want more information, you can also go ahead and log on to www.healthkit.gov. Now, does the government have to follow by their own rules? You know, the national do not call list. You, you've heard of that before, right? Or are you allowed yeah, to ignore are that? Are you allowed to just so Are you allowed to just ignore the national do not call list when you make these calls? No, sir. No? So you didn't check my number before you called it, then, is what you're telling me. Aren't you supposed to check the numbers against the national do-not-call list before you call them? Sir, I believe, I think you have to check again if you're still there or not. Because if you would have been in a do-not-call registry, yeah. you someone would have not done this number. Listen, okay. psycho... This is not a human... Listen, psycho... Your number doesn't automatically get dropped off the national do-not-call list, okay? <laughs> Kiss my butt. And yes, I have checked recently. And yes, it is there. Is it just me, or does the name of this company, Financial Welfare Group, sound like a government facility or a government entity? Not really. Not at all. But they did say they were calling from the government. So, let's call them back, see what happens. Financial Welfare Group. All calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, now they just don't say anything and hang up. Oh, well, you know we're going to have to call them back. Uh, yes, ma'am. I received a call from this number and asked me to call back, and I wasn't exactly sure what it was about. I was hoping you could tell me. Uh, uh, haven't I just had a word to do so? Possibly. Did you hang up on me when I asked you a question? I guess I'm going to have to call back again. Goodbye. Oh, all that time, and they just gave up on me. Well, at least I have their number now. Yes, I do. So a couple of things about that call. The first call I got was a robocall saying, we're sorry, we missed you, call us back. Call the number that was calling you. There's no information about what it's about, no information about the company name, nothing. Just call this number back, and I did. And when the, the, the message first picked up, it said, the Financial Welfare Group. Now that doesn't sound like anything to do with health care, but when I actually got the lady on the line, she said they're calling from Health and Benefits Department. So it's, it's kind of like a conflicting 
you know, introduction with the, the company's name or what the company or the group goes by and what they're actually calling about, maybe something completely different. It's probably because this is a generic number that they just use for everything under the sun. But if you get these calls, please either hang up on them or call them back and screw with them like I do. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep calling. Might as well have fun with them. And I got their number. So maybe I'll call them back from a different number and we'll see what happens. Despicable ugly people. Bye. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.